Hi, it's Ashley from ElasticGraphics.net, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do um, a regular vector, um, like um, a regular preppy show time style vector. Uh, it doesn't take that long, but it only does the brushes do, that is. Okay, so first you're going to get your darkest color out of your color schemes, and this is a sorbet color scheme. And then you're going to get, you're going to take that with the eyedropper tool, and then you're going to select the paint bucket tool over here. And then click on the background, the checkered background that you have in your PSD, or um, this paint bucket if you're opening up a new to make a sun vector. So you do that. And then you're going to get your eyedropper tool and select the next color. Get your paintbrush tool and have your vector brush selected. Now you're gonna stamp it onto wherever it looks even if you have if you're making a painted sun vector and it's just like with the blank page or if you're m making a sign, make it where the site model like in the center of the site model so it looks pretty even. Now you're gonna get your magic wand tool and if it shows up as the quick selection tool, right click and select the magic wand. Make sure um all of them are checked um the size contiguous or however you say it, I don't know how to say it. And then you click on the orange vector and should automat automatically select all of the orange vectors. And then you're going to use your eyedropper tool and you're going to get the paintbrush tool again. And then you're going to select the 19 hard round um, brush, which is at the very first row of your brush brushes that you have. So you see an orange one, which is right there. And now you're going to color it with the yellow or lime green, whatever that is. And then you're going to select the blue one. You can do that. And then you're going to select the yellow one again. Color that. And you pretty much keep on going like that until you're fully done. Oops, sorry, I messed up. Select the blue. Okay, so now I have it all colored in, and so what you're going to do on your keyboard, you're going to press Control c to do that, or some kind of glitch, and then press Control v and so your vector layer should show up around here, and then now you're going to go to Stroke, and then you're going to go to Fill Type, Pattern, and you're going to make it your line pattern, whatever line pattern you want to use, or whatever one looks best. And make sure this is size 1. Okay, I'm going to select the other one. Yeah, that looks better. Then you're going to click on drop shadow, distance 0, spread 0, size 5. And then you're going to do pattern overlay, make it your dot pattern, blend mode, soft light. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make a new layer, and then get your magic wand tool, and this time, instead of unchecking contiguous, you're going to check that again. Click on the first one, make sure your selection is white, and then get your paintbrush, and then go to the Hollister brush that you have, and you find it. Go with the Uh, okay, found it. Okay, now what you can do, I'm just going to stamp it like that, because they probably can't even tell, but if you need to angle it, which is, I will show you right now, with the paintbrush tool, go to this, it's a little brushy tool, I don't think you can see it on the thing I'm using, which is Hypercam, really gay, um, but you're going to click on this little brush thing, it shows little brushes. Sorry, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this little thing on the side, um, next to like the color palettes and the layers and stuff, and there should be like a little bucket with paint paintbrushes in it, and you're gonna go to brush tip shape and then you're gonna like angle it. Go like that, and just like do that. And then the next one, skip two. You're going to angle it wherever it looks good. 
keep on, keep on doing that until you've done all of them, skipping two. Okay, so now you see that I have all my hauls for brushes put in. So now you're going to click on the next one, getting rid of the paintbrush. So still make sure your color selection is white. And you're going to select another brush. I'm going to use this little star, smiley, spacey, hardish brush. I'm going to stamp it on there like that. The magic wand tool and make sure contiguous is checked. And just keep on doing that until you have all of the ones that are after the Hollister brush filled in. Okay, so now you see I have all those filled in. Next is your last part of the vector, and you're going to be making different selections of colors in it. I'm going to pick this orange next one. And make sure you do not use the dark pink or whatever your background color is in it. And I'm going to be using the Superman kind of brush thingy. And you just select it and you can do use different colors every time you do it. So what you can do is, you know, get some eyedropper tool and then select the color, go to the magic wand tool, click on the vector part you want to do, and just do that as what you see I'm doing here. And just keep on doing that throughout the vector. Okay, so now you see I have all my brushes filled in, and that is your typical showtime vector you will be using. And I hope this tutorial helps you. This was by Ashley at ElasticGraphics.net. Um, comment the C box if this helps you in any kind of way, or if you have any questions or comments or anything, you can either contact me on the C box or email me at Ashley said shut up at AOL.com or um comment me on my MySpace or whatever you want to do. Um thank you so much for watching. Um yeah, hope you like my site. Bye.